Suits has made a comeback since it's been on Netflix streaming service. It's a four-year-old show that has had that has nine seasons. But of course, anything that is associated with Megan and seen and it's seen success, the haters come knocking. This is a graph, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a chance to pause it to look at it. Now, I didn't do this. None of the Sussex supporters did it. None of the Sussex squads did it. It was the derangers, the haters, the naysayers, the crazies, the women with the cat emojis, the men who get snow dates, the men who are lusting over Megan but secretly hate her on TV. Those people. At what point does this move from being a hater to a fan? Because you really spent your entire weekend week watching a show for someone that you claim to hate or dislike just to add up watch hours, watch minutes of screen time that this person that you hate so much. I mean, I would never for a person that I totally dis I wouldn't even do that for a person that I I, I like really. I do you know how much time you have to devote to figure out screen time for a season that's been on nine years? Like you really made a graph for all and I don't even know if this is accurate, but the fact that you did this is <sighs> And best be sure you're gonna find this graph or someone's gonna reference this um, in the UK media, one of those little shows, and they're gonna bring this up, and they're gonna try to relate it back to the royal family. Like it, it's just the writing is already on the wall. But speaking of the UK press, it wouldn't be the UK media if there wasn't a little bit of racism in it. Read this headline and look at the picture below. This young man is nowhere near related to Idris Elba. Like, not one bit. Who could forget these headlines? <laughs> Are we really shocked? I mean, 